It's my little portable Nintendo 64. Added a screen to it. It's got a handle. All batteries running off of a Gully's kit. Lasts about four hours, five hours on this. No problems. Everything comes apart. It's just the box when it's done. I made this uh, moving thingy for it so I can move it around easy. But this comes off of there. This uh, mount comes off. The TV comes off of there. Then it's got these this panel down here that I built. It's like a platform that goes underneath it. You can see the feet for the actual 64 here. So there's venting here, venting here. There's a lot of venting up in here. You can see I've added a blinking light back here for this little ambience, you know. It's got lots of space back there for it to breathe. Back in the back, there's lots of ports for it to breathe. Underneath it, there's a port, a big one with a foot sticking out, so it can breathe there. No overheating problems. Uh, the screen looks amazing. I can't get it to record good with this stupid camera, but it's got widescreen for all the widescreen games, and it's going through S-Video cable right now. I had a light behind that. It was damaged from the 64 original case. It had blown up. It was all cracked. This is a RCA jack that I added. It's actually hooked up to the reset switch so that I hook up an RCA to this and it goes to a single switch that I have. So I can reset it from the couch instead of having to sit next to the system when I want to save my games or switch games. I'm working on an MP3 player. We're almost there. Game Boy NES, uh, Game Boy Color, they all work really well. I added a little reset switch there. That's what that little tiny hole is. That's a reset switch. And over here is the power button. Added a custom switch for the power. These are just Velcros to hold it down to the, the platter I made to move it around with. Because it's kind of odd shape when you have the screen attached to it but all that comes off and it's literally just this box that hooks up to the TV comes through us video if you want looks really good haven't had any issues with it yet oh, wow. yeah it's a great system I've loved the setup that I've it's working great doesn't get hot at all I've left it on for days playing Zelda uh, Smash Brothers Mario Kart and not have not had a single problem but uh, yeah, I love it. Use the brawler controllers. It's set up pretty nice. All right, thanks for checking it out.